Hi pre-calculus, today we are going to be talking about reference angles and special angles. So reference angles are the measure of an angle from the x-axis, okay? And this makes sense, it refers to like our reference triangles, which we know measured from the x-axis, right? So here, if we have the sine of 40, that's gonna be like roughly right here, okay? This would be like 40 degrees, okay? And if we have the sine of 140, that's gonna be roughly right here, oops, not there, like here would be 140 degrees, okay? And then the sine of 220, be another here, that'd be roughly right here, okay? So there, this is 220. And if we did the sine of uh, 320, that'd be right here. Okay, so there's 320. Okay. But we can identify two, and I'll get another pen for this. Uh, blue is good. Okay, here, what's our reference angle? Well, the reference angle here is still just 40 degrees. Okay. The reference angle here is going to be 40 degrees. The reference angle here is 40 degrees and the reference angle here is 40 degrees. And we can find that by just subtracting. So we know 40 to zero is 40. We know that 180 minus 140 is 40. And we know that uh, 180 plus 40 is 220. 360 minus 40 is 320. So these work. So actually all of these have the same reference angle, okay? So we can actually find reference angles here. Here we're asked, to find the reference angle of 150 degrees, well, the reference angle is going to be that measure of the angle to the x-axis, which 180 minus 50 is 30 degrees. What if we're given negative 100? Well, negative 100 is going to be like roughly here. That's actually probably too far out, but it doesn't matter. So this is negative 100 degrees. So we need to measure the distance here which is 80 degrees, and that's gonna be our reference angle. What about 23 pi over 12? Well, we know that 24 pi over 12 would be a full rotation. So this would be, uh, or which is two pi. So this little angle right here, this whole thing is gonna be 23 pi over 12, but this little angle right here is just going to be pi over 12. So cute, okay. Let's talk about some special angles that we have. So here we have a triangle. I know this like didn't show up well, but if we draw a reference triangle, okay, and let's say this angle is 30 degrees. Now, these drawings aren't accurate, but um, just bear with me, okay? If this, actually, I'm gonna redo this one because it doesn't look good. And I kind of want it, I want it to look a little bit good. Okay, so this is gonna be our triangle here. This angle is 30 degrees, and this is a right angle there, right? We know from our 30, 60, 90 triangles that this measure here would be one half of y, right? And that this measure here is going to be one, because this is our unit circle. So we know that our radius is going to be one. And then our, so this is one, this is one half y, this is radical three over two, okay? And so that means that this point here is going to be radical three over two comma one half, good? All right, so what if we were asked to find the sine of 30 degrees? We can say it's gonna be one half over one, which is just one half, right? All right, let's do another one. So that was our 30, 60, 90. Here's 30, 60, 90 again, but now it's up here. Okay, so this is 60 degrees, okay? So in this case, we're gonna flip things around. This is gonna be one half, and this is going to be radical three over two, okay? So that means that this point here is one half comma radical three over two. Again, this is one because it's our unit circle. Then we also have, you might remember our other, is our 45, 45, 90 triangle. So if we draw that, which is similar to what I drew in that first one. So here, this is 45 degrees, okay? So if we have, this is one, this is gonna be equal to one over radical two, which we can simplify to be radical two over two. And this also one over radical two, which is radical two over two. So this point here is radical two over two, comma, 
radical two over two, okay? And that's gonna be really important as we go forward using the unit circle. Okay, let's pause. Let's actually use the unit circle to find the exact value. So here we have, are asked to find the cosine of 120. So 120 is going to be like right here, okay? I'm gonna just draw these points here. So we know that this is 90, and then this is gonna be an, like, sorry, this is 90, and this is another 30. So this is gonna be 120 there, right? Okay, so what is this? Well, we can use that triangle. We know that this point here is going to be a negative one half comma radical three over two, right? So what's the cosine of 120? Well, the cosine is just our x value, so it's a negative one half, okay? What about sine of 210? Well, sine of 210, that's gonna be 180 plus 30, so that's gonna be here, okay? So we know that this is gonna be a negative one half, and this is going to be radical three over two, so we're gonna have the point here, uh, negative radical three over two, comma negative one half. Uh, I should put, it's kinda of hard to see my handwriting there, but sine of 210, that's going to be equal to a negative one half, right? Which goes cosine, comma sine. Here we have the tangent of 315, which is going to just be uh, right here. So that's our 45, 45, 90 triangle, okay? So we know that this point is going to be, uh, that'll be positive radical two over two comma negative radical two over two. So the tangent is gonna be, um, sorry, yeah, sine over cosine, so that's negative radical two over two over radical two over two, which is just gonna equal negative one, good? Then we have the secant of 180. Well, the secant of 180, that just goes here, right? Which is actually uh, one over cosine, right? So here, since it's our unit circle, it's negative one comma zero. So this is one over, sorry, one over negative one, which is equal to negative one. All right, good, not too bad so far, right? Let's do a little bit with radians, always kind of fun to do, right? So here we have five pi over four. So five pi over four, if we go by pi over four, this would be pi over four, uh, two pi over four, wait, no. This is zero pi over four, yep, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, five pi over four, right here, five pi over four. Okay, so if we draw that, the sine, we know that that's our 45, 45, 90 triangle, right? And so this is going to be, I wish I hadn't written it there, negative, or uh, yeah, negative radical two over two, comma, rad, negative radical two over two. And so the sine of this is negative radical two over two. Here, cosine of negative two pi over three, negative two pi over three, we have like, you can think of this as kind of like three dots here, right? Um, maybe you've gotten to that point by now. This would be our angle right here. So here we're gonna have negative one half, and here we're gonna have a negative radical three over two. So cosine uh, is going to be, we have negative one half, comma negative radical three over two. So cosine is going to be a negative one half. And then, I kind of ran out of room, but here we have cotangent of pi over four. Pi over four, again, is right there, okay? So this is radical two over two, comma radical two over two. And we know if we put those on top of each other, we're just gonna have one. And then secant of three pi over two, well, three pi over two is right here, actually. So this is the point zero comma negative one. And zero negative one is going to be equal to, so secant is actually, sorry, one over cosine, right? Well, the cosine is zero, so this is one over zero, which can't happen, so this is undefined, right? Okay, pause again. Okay, here we are asked to find all six trig functions. Um, here we're given 30 degrees. Well, we know that 30 degrees, this is a horrible circle, but 30 degrees is right here, okay? Which is going to be the equivalent of pi over six. Sorry, I didn't mean to write three. Pi over six. Gosh, now I'm smudging everywhere. 
So this is pi over six radians, okay? So the sine, we know this is one half, we know this is radical three over two, okay? So sine is going to be, uh, and I can put that point there, uh, radical three over two comma one half. Sine is one half, cosine is radical three over two. Tangent is going to be equal to one half over radical three over two. So that's just going, those are gonna cancel out. So we're gonna have one over radical three. So we know that's radical three over three, okay? Cosecant is two. Secant is going to end up being two radical three over three. And you can do that math to double check. And uh, cotangent is end up just being radical three, okay? You can do that math to double check too. Good. Then we wanna write the negative degrees. Well, if this is 30 degrees here, for negative degrees, it would be negative 330 degrees. And for negative radians, it would be a negative um, 11 pi over six radians. Good, okay. Let's do another one here. We have pi over two, and actually I forgot to draw a circle, but that's okay, we can draw one real quick. Okay, so here is pi over two. It actually goes right here. So pi over two is 90 degrees, right? That's pi, zero, pi over two, pi, okay? Uh, so what's the sine? Well, we know that this is gonna be zero comma one. Well, the sine is just gonna be one. Cosine is gonna be zero. Tangent is sine over cosine, so that's actually undefined, right? Because that won't work. Cosecant is going to be one, okay? Which is just one over one. Secant is gonna be one over zero, which again is undefined. And cotangent is actually zero because it's gonna be cosine over sine, right? So that zero over one does actually work, so that's zero. So negative degrees, we would have a negative 270. And for negative radians, we would have a negative three pi over two. Okay, let's finalize this by finding a few more angles. It's just a lot of practice with this unit circle, but it's kind of fun to do, and I think it, it's really good here. So, one second. Okay, I forgot to write these down. So, when is sine of theta one half? So, that means that's going to have to be positive, right? Well, we know here this angle would be um, a radical three over two, comma, one half. This angle here is going to be radical two over two, uh, radical two over two. Oop, that should be a, just a regular two. And here we're gonna have one half comma radical three over two, right? Those are all positive. So when is sine one half? Right here. This is 30 degrees, which is equal to pi over six. But we also know that this is a positive one half, right? So that's a positive one half. So we could also put, what's this angle here? Well, this angle here is 150 degrees, which is equal to five pi over six. Good. For cosine, when is cosine one half? And I'm going to finish filling that out. It's a negative radical three over two. Cosine is one half right here. That's at 60 degrees, which is equal to pi over three. Uh, but also cosine, actually, that's going to be a negative one half there, right? But it would be a positive half, one half right here. Okay. So this is going to be a positive one half negative radical three over two. And hopefully you're kind of seeing how this unit circle comes together. So this is going to be, uh, sorry, 300 degrees, which is equal to five pi over three. Okay. So when is tangent negative one? Well, we might remember that our tangent is going to be, tangent is one when we have that radical two over two, okay? But when is that negative? Well, here it's still negative. Here, or so here it would be positive because it's gonna be negative over negative. Here, it's going to be a negative radical two over two, comma radical two over two. And here it will be a radical two over two, comma negative radical two over two. So here is where tangent will be negative, right? So what is this angle here? Well, this angle here is 135 degrees, which is equal to three pi over four. Okay, sorry, uh, so this was, 135 degrees is equal to pi over, three pi over four, sorry. And that was over here. And then this is also equal to 315 degrees, which is the equivalent of 11, or sorry, no. Yeah, 11. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Whatever. Pause. Sorry. Seven pi over four. Gosh, you guys, it's like the end of the day. All right. Sine of theta is equal to radical three over two. Well, radical three over two, it's going to be here. And then radical three over two is going to be here. So, oh, sorry. No, we're dealing with sine. So sine would be right here and right here. So this is a negative one half radical three over two. Okay. So that's going to be equal to 60 degrees, which we already said was pi over three. And this is 120 degrees, which is equal to two pi over three. Cosine of theta is zero. Well, that's going to happen right here because this is zero one. Okay. And this is actually zero negative one. So this is at 90 degrees, which is pi over two. And this is at 270 degrees which is three pi over two. And finally, when is the cotangent of theta undefined? Well, cotangent, we remember, is cosine of theta over sine of theta. So basically this is asking, when is sine of theta zero? Well, sine of theta is zero here at one zero and here at negative one zero. So when is it undefined? So this is undefined at zero degrees, 360 degrees, and 180 degrees. And as we know, zero degrees is equal to two pi, uh, 360 is two pi. And actually, I should say zero degrees is equal to zero because that's more accurate. But 180 is equal to pi. Okay, a lot of practice here. Hopefully it makes sense, but you're doing great. And any questions you have, bring them to class. I'll see you then. Bye.